It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this Unity Learn course, we're going to go over the VR Beginner, the Escape Room. So let's get started. Getting started with the VR Beginner, the Escape Room. Select this. Here's our summary. Let's go through the overview. Welcome to the VR Beginner, the Escape Room. In this learning project, you'll have the opportunity to explore and create basic VR interactions supported by the XR Interaction Toolkit package. In the introductory tutorial, you will learn about the learning project and get ready to begin. Make sure you're signed in and you're going to go ahead and press Mark Complete. Let's go down. Who is this project for? This learning content is for anyone who wants to begin creating VR experiences in Unity. It is designed for individual users, both with considerations for the needs of educators in a range of different environments. This project has an accompanying Unity project. The project is pre-configured for you so that you can explore different VR examples and create your own simple experiences. The project includes example VR experiences to explore in two different styles, a custom menu which you can use to create new scenes pre-configured for VR, assets and realistic art style pre-configured for VR interactions, and additional objects models which are not pre-configured for VR interaction. Your Unity experience. This learning project is for beginners to VR and Unity who have basic experience using the Unity editor. If you are new to Unity, start with the following learning experiences. Getting started with Unity or the Creator Kit FPS, first person shooter. Your VR experience. You should have some previous basic experience using VR to get the most out of this learning content as a learner. If you haven't explored any VR experiences before, try the basic tutorial content created for your VR hardware. You do not need any experience developing for VR to use this learning content. Your VR hardware. The learning content is compatible with the following headsets, the HTC Vive models, Oculus Quest, and Oculus Rift models. Let's go ahead and press Mark Complete. And go to our next step. Step three, about the VR Beginner Unity project. VR Beginner uses the XR Interaction Toolkit package as its interaction system. This means that you do not need to write scripts to create simple interactions in the Unity project. The learning project has been designed as an introductory content for a wide range of learners. Due to the range of hardware available, design and development choices have been made to make an experience available for all many different users as possible. This resulted in challenges which sometimes required unconventional solutions. The projects have been designed as an opportunity for you to explore VR experience, create interactive elements in VR without any code, and try creating very simple interactive experiences in VR using assets available in the project. It is not intended as a model of best practice VR implementation, but as a first exploration experience as you start your VR learning journey. Press mark complete. The structure of this learning project. This project is made of nine different tutorials. You can complete them all at once or work through the tutorials at a pace that works best for you. The tutorials are the following. Plan your learning journey. Tutorials one to eight are sequential and should be completed in order. Explore the escape room is a standalone learning content that you can complete at any point after review your VR controller. You explore and evaluate an immersive interactive experience and also have the opportunity to consider the kind of experience you would like to create in the future. Update your version of Unity. Before you can download the project for these tutorials, you need to download the Unity Hub, download the personal 2019.3, Log into your Unity ID. If you don't have the correct Unity release, select Installs tab on the left menu and download it. The VR Beginner Unity project and learning content is only compatible with 2019.3. Let's check our Unity version. So you can see I can go to Installs and I have 2019.4. Let's go to Add and you can see they do not have a 20.19.3 so it's actually been updated we have the correct version, but it will not work with 2020.1.6 or the previous version, 2018.4. So we are good. I press mark complete. Import the VR Beginner Unity project. When you've got the latest version of Unity, download the Unity project for this project. Open the Unity Hub, select the Learn tab on the left side of the window, scroll down and select the project from the available list. In the project window, select Download. When the download is complete, select Open Project. Unity will import the project in any assets. We're going to go to Learn, 
We're gonna scroll down and look for this kit. This one right here, VR Beginner, The Escape Room. I'm gonna select it. First thing we need to do is select Download Project. You can see here, it has actually been updated. You need to install 2020.1 to open this project. So I'm going to select here, Install 2020.1. It takes me back to Installs. I do need Visual Studio for Mac. I'm also gonna make sure that my Android build, since I'm building for Oculus, Make sure these two are also selected. If you want to have WebGL support, you should also select that and then go ahead and press install. It will take some time for Unity to install, but once it does, we will go back to learn and select the open project. Now you can see 2020.1.6 has actually been installed, which is required for this project. I'm gonna go back to learn, I'm gonna scroll back down and find again, my VR beginner, the escape room. I've already downloaded it. I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna select open project. So here you go, the project has opened. You can see I'm getting this error here. Import parameters got modified during import. We're gonna see if that affects us in the end. If I go to my console, you can see that. That might be an issue that we're going to have later on. But let's continue with this process. So we've opened our project. I'm gonna push mark complete. I'm gonna scroll down. Save the uni project. To save the uni project, go to file, exit, and the keep project dialog window, select keep. So we're gonna to go to file. There is no exit. So pretty much we wanna close this project or I can actually save it, but let's just try to close. When I click on close on a Windows, you can see it says keep. It did say, this is what a Windows would look like. You're gonna make sure you select keep. I will save it. Beginner. On this step, save the Unity project. You're supposed to close it and do keep. Save your project. Once the project is saved, reopen Unity Hub. Select add and navigate to the location of your saved project. This will add your project to the project list in the hub. So I'm going to go back to Unity Hub, go to Projects. I'm gonna click on Add a Project. Then I'm going to go to my location, Unity, Learn, VR Beginner, here. I'm gonna select Open. Now you can see it says New Project. Navigate to the location, the project will be in the list. Left click on the project and the project list to open it. This will be able to open the project after completing this process. So now that this is here, see, can we rename this? And actually I don't like that name, so I wanna rename it. So I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna do remove from list, yes. And what I'm gonna do is in here, I'm gonna rename this folder, VR beginner the escape room. So now, because I renamed that folder, if I come back here, I select add. Now it says that. I'm gonna click on open. And now you can see it has that name. So that's a way you can actually update your names if you did not name it correctly. It's simply the name of that folder. It also tells us here, go ahead and open it. So I'm going to open this. And I'm gonna mark this step as complete. So now our project is open. And you can see it doesn't have that error anymore. So let's go back to here. Setting up your hardware. If you haven't done so already, you'll need to set up your VR hardware to complete this learning project. Your hardware manufacturer has specific guidance to help you get started. Setting up your new Oculus device, setting up your Vive. If you have either one of these, you're simply going to click on these guys here. Let's just look at them. And you can see the Oculus support is actually not showing up. So that link is wrong. The HTC Vive is Hi there. actually. So I'm David, and I'll be showing you how to set up Vive. In this video, we'll be covering the following. So the Oculus Link is currently not working, but the Vive Link is working. If you have an Oculus Quest, make sure to enable development mode for your Oculus Quest. Let's click on that link and see if it is working. So you can see that one is actually working and supported devices, Oculus Quest, and you can see the Oculus Rift currently not supported, but the Oculus Go and the Oculus Quest are. One quick note, you can see here, on June 23rd, 2020, Oculus announced plans to sunset Oculus Go. Information about the dates and alternatives can be found on the Oculus Go in the Oculus Go introduction. So if you click on this, Oculus Go, important dates and how to move forward with Quest development. As we focus on driving the future of VR and Six Degrees of Freedom platforms, like Oculus Quest, we have recently announced plans to sunset Oculus Go. For developers currently building for the Oculus Go, 
be sure to note that important dates outlined below. Also included are the links and resources, the references when considering building for the quest. So December 4th, is this is the last day to submit new Oculus Go applications. We recommend submitting your Go app for December 4th to ensure your application successfully phases the mobile VRC's content policy and publishing reviews. If you make any updates to your existing app, including changes to metadata, this must be entered by December 4th, 2020. December 18th, this is the last day applications will be launched in the Oculus Go store. And you can see down here, you have other things. So some notes to think about, Oculus Go is no longer supported, Oculus Quest is, and Facebook's Oculus Quest 2 has been launched, and now the Rift is not even being supported. So set up your VR hardware. We, we would go through those steps. Again, right now, my VR hardware is already set up. Configuring Unity for your Oculus Quest. If you have an Oculus Quest and you're not using Oculus Link, you'll need to set up the Android development environment in Unity and create Android builds to test VR experiences in this learning project. Why does Oculus Quest have a different process? The VR Beginner Unity project is compatible with OpenVR. This is a legacy method for VR integration for Unity, which currently supports a wider range of devices than the current method. In the future, the method outlined below will become the standard process to configure VR functionality in Unity. What's the process for the Oculus Link? If you're using an Oculus Link with your Oculus Quest, the following steps don't apply. Your headset will function similar to an Oculus Rift and no settings need to be changed. You'll be able to test directly from Unity Editor. The one exception, if you want to build to your Oculus Quest after testing and completing a VR experience, to do this, select the correct platform in the build settings. PC, Mac, and Linux, if you want to use Link to experience your build, test in the editor. Android, if you want to build directly to your quest. Let's go ahead and press more complete. Configuring your project settings for the Oculus Quest. How to configure Unity project settings for Oculus Quest. To configure Unity, create Android builds for your Oculus Quest, install the Android build. In the top menu, go to edit project settings. So just to show you, we're gonna to go to edit, and we're gonna select project settings. This will pop up. Select the player. On the left hand side of the project settings, select Android settings tab. So I'm already on player. I'm gonna make this bigger. Select the Android tab. So you can see here, this is my Android's tab. Expand the XR settings page in the gray window. You can see it says, select the Android tab. I've selected that. This is what it looks like in the old version of Unity, which is 3.19, but we have the newer version of Unity, 1.20. So if you look at this here, icon resolution, splash page, other settings, publish settings, and XR settings. This is what you currently have, icon, resolution, splash, other, and publish settings. There no longer is any XR settings. Let me show you where it is now. If you click on other settings, you scroll down, you will see XR settings depreciated. This is no longer the way, even though it's following this tutorial, it's no longer the way to actually set up your XR. You can see here, I actually have XR plugin management and I have Oculus set up. So the tutorial is actually out of date currently. Expand the XR setting setting using the gray settings, da 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 da. Disable the virtual reality supported. This again is no longer working, so we're just gonna press Mark Complete. Configure your Unity XR plugin management settings for your Oculus Quest. Next, you will need to configure the XR plugin management settings. In the sidebar, select XR plugin management. You can see that is right here, which I just talked about. Select the install XR plugin management section. You can see I already have this installed, but if you do not have it installed, you will see a screen that looks like this and install that. Once the plug is installed, select Install Next Oculus XR Plugin. Again, you will see this screen right here. I already have it installed. With the XR Plugin Management dialog window still open, select Android tab on the Add button. So you can see I here. Here I already installed my XR, select the Android tab, plus plus underneath. You can see here, I simply select Oculus. If you're planning to use link functionality with your Quest, select PC tab and add an Oculus loader there. So you can see, here's the PC tab, and right here, I'm selecting Oculus. Select Create. Again, you would see this, and press Create. 
In the Android tab, make sure the stereo rendering mode is set to multi-pass and V2 Quest. So let's click on Oculus now. You can see on PC, I have these. If I click on Android tab, you can see it wants me to say multi-pass, V2 Quest is enabled. I have multi-pass here. I have V2 signing Quest. Let's go down. Select the player section on the left of the dialog window and make sure the Android tab is selected. So again, we're gonna go select the player on the left side of the dialog window. Then check the Android tab is selected. So you can see I'm currently on the Android tab. If I was here, I need to make sure I'm at the Android tab. Let's pull this down so we can see more stuff. And this is your screen. Select the gray arrow to expand the other section located towards the bottom of the list. So we're gonna scroll down towards the bottom of the list and you can see we're looking for this other. It's right here, I already had it expanded, but we're gonna drop that down. Disable the auto graphics API text box. This will reveal a list of graphic APIs. So you can see right here, auto graphics API. This is already unchecked. Again, I'm using the current 2020 version of Unity. This has been fixed for you. Following this tutorial, it shows that it was checked. It's already unchecked right here, so you don't have to do anything. Select the Graphics API Plus button and select Vulkan. So, Graphics API right here. I'm gonna click the Plus button and select Vulkan. Select any other Graphics API in the list and select Remove to delete it. So I'm going to delete the OpenGL this. I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to mark this step as complete. Configure your build settings for your Oculus Quest. Now that you have done this, configure the build settings for your Oculus Quest. In the top menu bar, navigate to File Bill Settings. So I'm going to close my project settings. Over here, I'm going to go to File, Bill Settings. And let's just move these over here. In the platform list, at the bottom of the list in the window, select the correct platform for you. Android if you plan to run the build directly from your Quest, PC, Mac, and Linux if you plan to use Oculus Link to run your build in the editor. I'm going to run my build in the editor, so I'm going to leave it at PC, Mac, and Linux standalone. If I wanted to run it on my Quest, I can actually select Android, and I would select Switch Platform, but I'm okay. If you're building for Android, select Switch Platform, which will take you to the task to complete. Don't worry if this takes a while. So anytime you actually switch platforms, it has to import some things. If I select Switch Platform, it will take a while. Just wait, and once it's finished, you will be good to go. Set Texture Compression to ASEC using the drop-down menu. That is if I was using Android and you can see texture compression. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Scroll down. Now you'll be ready to build for Android with the Oculus Quest at the target device when you need to. These settings are for creating test builds for the learning content. They are not recommended settings for final builds of publishing. So this is key. This is not what's recommended if you were actually making an app. Go ahead and press Mark Complete. Review key concepts for working in Unity. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Again, I'm not switching my platform. I'm actually gonna be using my PC, Mac, and Linux because I'm gonna use the Quest and the Link. Review key concepts for working in Unity. Let's review some key concepts for working in Unity that will help you in this project. Scenes. In Unity, areas of, areas of game or experience that a player can interact with are generally made up in one or more scenes. Small experiences may only use one scene. Large ones have hundreds. The escape room and prototype VR example are both one scene. The VR Beginner Unity project includes a custom menu you can use to create template scenes for prototyping in VR. You can see here, this is our project window, and these are all the assets that came with this. I'm just gonna click on VR, Beginner VR, and you can see I have animations, audio, data, materials, models, prefab, scenes. Let's just check out the scenes. So you can see they have an escape room and they have a prototyping room. These are two different scenes. They're saying normally you will have a bunch of scenes, one project, if you have a multi-pass with the game. So level one might be one scene. 
and level two might be a different scene. Game objects and components. Every object in the game world exists as a game object in Unity. Game objects are given specific features by giving them different components, which provide a wide range of different functionality. When you create new game objects, it will come with a transform component already attached. This component controls the game object's positional properties in 3D or 2D game space. You need to add all other components manually in the inspector. So I'm going to, down here, we're going to add some of our own game objects. You can see they have some models for us already. They have a bunch of materials for us that we're going to use, but we'll simply follow the tutorial and go from there. I'm going to press mark as complete. And number 10. In this tutorial, you have reviewed about the scope of the VR Beginner Project, downloaded the VR Beginner Project using the Unity Hub, reviewed the hardware requirements for this learning project, viewed foundational Unity concepts for VR Beginner, and next, you will view the controller for the VR Beginner Experience and then explore the Prototype Room VR Experience. I'm going to mark this as complete. Woohoo, you've completed this tutorial. In next video, we will actually continue to the next step to review the VR controller.